How you feeling? You got Riggs here. My friends at 1UP Retro sent me a message saying, hey, we want to send you something if that's cool. I'm like, I like free stuff. All right. So uh, go ahead and send over whatever. And of course, my address is in the description below. What they sent me, though, I thought was pretty interesting. Courtesy of 1UPRetro.com. I don't mind showing this off a little bit. We'll pop it in, too. It is the 1UP Retro collection of 117 games plus five bonus crappy ones. <laughs> Curious to know what those five bonus crappy ones are. I bet I like those crappy games, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pop it in and see what's all on this. So check it out. Before I check out these games here, I want to give a quick shout out to Rock Heart Games because they provided this uh, label, this um, overlay, this sticker for my Classic Controller. Um, the Classic Controller is all gunked up and it just looks gross. But I put the sticker on it and now I get more compliments on this. This is the controller I bring with me to conventions uh, so people can test out games before they buy them. And I get more compliments on this than I do most of my games. So if you need one, I'll link it in the description below. It works the first try in the toaster model. Already dig it. That's cool. All right. A lot of cool stuff here. All right, so there's, what, 100 and, 117, 122? There's a lot of them here. Um, all right, let's just go through the list. We'll, we'll check out a couple of these here, like B-52. This is one of those unlicensed games here. Check this out for a second. <laughs> oh, my. I don't think I ever actually played this game. This was, this was one game I never had when I was going for a complete set. All right, I get it. <laughs> All right, uh, I I think you just have to hit reset to start the next game. Bioforce Ape was a prototype, so already there's like some uh, U.S. domesticated games as well as some prototypes on here too, not just U.S. licensed games and unlicensed games. But Bioforce Ape was a prototype. Never came out in America. Never came out at all. But they found the ROM and dumped it, and that's that's where that one comes from. Um, and uh, bootlegs as well, like a Booger Man. It's kind of like an NES version of a. Uh... Oh. Oh my. All right. Yeah. what else there is. All right, so we have a boy and his blob. We have Bubble Bobble Part 1. Bubble Bobble Part 2. That's cool. That's the that's the hard to find one. Castlevania 1 and 2. Um, you're not going to find Castlevania 3 on here, I'm guessing, because Castlevania 3 uses an extreme circuit board. It's a, it's a weird mapper type that's um, a lot of times hard to uh, emulate, if you will. Um, so I'm not surprised I don't see Castlevania 3, but that's okay, that's okay. Got Trippendales 1 and 2, Clue Clue Land, Color Dinosaur. Oh, Crystallis, one of my favorites. Dark Lord, not really familiar with that one. Let's just go through all the games up front, and then uh, we'll go back and check out the other games. So we have Double Dragon 1, 2, and 3. Yep, Double Dragon 3. Cool. Dragon Warriors 1, 2, 3, and 4. Super awesome. This, ge this uh, device does save your games, too. You have to hold reset and hit power when you turn it off, just keep that in mind. Uh, Earthbound. This is now. This is the game before Earthbound for Super Nintendo was Mother, and it came out in Japan for the Famicom. Never came out in America. But if you're interested in playing it, uh, here it is right here. Along with Pax Xanadu, Felix the Cat's great game, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy two II and three. Also games you can't find in America. Flintstones one and two. Who the expensive Flintstones two <laughs> at your disposal. We got uh, Gunnack, which is a great shooter. Gunsmoke, Happily Ever After, which was a recently found uh, prototype. And the ROM was dumped. Journey to Silius is a great game. That was a game that was slated to be um, Terminator, but it um, uh, the licensing said nope, can't be Terminator. So, yep, got Little Samson. You got Little Samson. Great game. Mega Man's one through six. Gotta love that. Metroid Plus. I'm gonna go back to look at that later. I want to see. I'm curious about that. That might be one of the Metroid hacks, which would be fine if it is. Oh, cool, it has new Ghostbusters 2. This is not the U.S. Ghostbusters that we got. This is the Ghostbusters 2 that came out in the U.K., which is a much better Ghostbusters game. Came out in Japan as well for the Famicom. Shatterhand, great. 
Got the Simpsons games. There's a, a nice selection here. Fire and Ice, which is a great puzzle game, also hard to find. Mario 2, okay. Sweet Home, great RPG. This is like the precursor to uh, Resident Evil. Always fun to have uh, that game. The Goonies, now we got the Goonies 2 in America. We had Goonies 1 at the arcade, but never for the uh, NES, but it did come out for Famicom. So happy to have that. And then we have um, Willow, Yonoid, Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2, and Zombie Nation. <laughs> Zombie Nation is such a weird game. All right, I want to go back and look at um, that Metroid Plus. And you know what it might be? Um, I know they took Metroid and, Im and improved it, like some hackers did, to give it a map, to give it a save state. So I wonder if that's what that is. Which would be fun. Oh yeah, and there's the save state. Okay. Now I bet when I pause it, it'll show you a map to see where I am. Let's see what happens. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I wish we got that in our version. Sweet. What's another good one here? I'm not, that, I'm not exactly sure what crappy games you're talking about. I think that so far all these are pretty good. Yep, this is the Lost Levels, basically. It's the Lost Levels. It has Super C, but not Contra. That's interesting. That's interesting. So it doesn't have every game. It doesn't have every game. But it has a lot of them. Like, it has Little Samson. It has Flintstones 2, Surprise at Dino Peak. Journey to Silius, awesome. Prince of Persia. Got Shatterhand. Shatterhand's good. And this game is just, it's just, man, I don't know. <laughs> don't quite know how to describe it. You gotta save the flying bodies, you're a floating head, you're shooting things. So again, here it is. This is the uh, one-up retro collection of 117 games. It's funny, this thing says, oh, I see. It's 122 games, but it's 117 games and then uh, five crappy ones. Um, up to you, I suppose, to decide which games are the crappy ones. This is pretty neat. And um, I wanna thank oneupretro.com uh, for gifting me one of these to check out. This is, a, this is really cool. The cool thing is, they are available for sale, so if you need one, you gotta have one for yourself. Oh my goodness gracious, you can't live without one. Uh, link in the description below, and they are selling for less than an NES Classic Edition, which you can't find anywhere anyway. So if you can't find an NES Classic Edition, um, both of these don't have Contra. <laughs> However, they both do have Super C and a ton of other games. In fact, this has Lil Samson and more. So it's a pretty sweet alternative. And um, and again, thank you so much uh, for, for gifting this my way. And thank you for checking out this channel. Got more tutorials on the way, more reviews, more uh, pickups and checkouts and all kinds of stuff coming up. So make sure you're subscribed. If you dig what you're seeing and want to contribute to the channel, check out my Patreon as well. And maybe if you have something that's just like, oh my goodness, I want to do some show and tell. I do have my address in the description below. Keep in mind, I might not be able to show everything all the time, but if there's something that you just want me to see or something, um, I do have my address listed below too. So again, thanks to oneupretro.com and thank you for watching. Till next time, take care. We'll see you, bless you, and everyone you hug. We'll see ya, thanks.